Look what President Trump just took away from Obama, you'll cheer. Mr. Obama's legacy is melting without end like a frozen custard on a sweltering summer day. It will probably be a long time before individuals begin asking, Barack who? However, it could be much sooner when individuals will be unable to think about an Obama-era program that remaining parts set up. This is a consequence of the sensational complexity between the vision, policies, and activities of President Trump and his predecessor. At the end of the day, for the president to achieve what he promised on the campaign trail, anything Mr. Obama did of the result will essentially be drastically changed or dispensed with. The committed liberal that he was, Mr. Obama tried to add however many as could be expected under the circumstances to the welfare rolls. Maybe he erroneously trusts this is useful for the nation. Or, then again, more probable. He perceives the significance to the Democratic Party of the voters who get profits by such projects. In any case, Mr. Obama's policies that raised the quantity of nationals on food stamps to an unsurpassed high have been turned around by President Trump. The number accepting food stamps has dropped by 1.5 million, or 3.5 percent. Furthermore, this in under one year. HR is one big way Americans will always remember the 44th president, people forced to live on food stamps soared 32 percent under his watch. In 2009, when he took office, there were 33.5 million people on food stamp benefits, in October 2016, just a few months before he left office, that number had skyrocketed to 44.2 million, a jump of 10.7 million people. New statistics from the U.S. Department of Agriculture show nearly 1.5 million Americans have gotten off the food stamp roll since President Trump took office in January 2017. That's a 3.5 percent drop in less than a year. There is no want to see those struggling suffer. What's more, given the great wealth of America, there is much chance to help the individuals who are less lucky. Unbeknownst to numerous liberals, non-government arrangements, for example, food banks are as of now giving tremendous support of poor people. Thus there are numerous approaches to help the disadvantaged, and not every one of them incorporates growing government spending on welfare programs, much to the disheartening of the liberals who rely upon these souls as voters. One technique is to encourage the growth of the economy so jobs, and better paying jobs, are more ample in this way reducing the need for such projects as food stamps. It ought to likewise be said that people who are capable of helping themselves and decline to do as such ought to be dropped from the welfare rolls, in this manner liberating those funds up for the really penniless or for things, for example, tax breaks focused at quickening monetary and job growth. Mr. Obama's legacy, lamentably, is one that should be overlooked. In any case, more than that. It is one that should be destroyed for the benefit of the general population of this country. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below.